U.S. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has turned his attention to the economy. On Monday, he outlined several plans that could have a ripple effects around the globe. Among them is, he, uh, is his stand against U.S. free trade agreements. The U.S. Uh, TCTV's uh, America's Jessica Stone has the story. In Monday's economic policy speech, Trump proposed steep tax cuts. My plan will reduce the current number of brackets from seven to three and dramatically the process. But he's also proposed equally steep increases in government spending, policies that could drive up U.S. debt and disrupt the global economy. Progressive think tanks say Trump's previous tax plan would have cost the U.S. economy around one trillion dollars a year for 10 years. Enough people have noticed to boost Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton in the polls. She has whittled Trump's lead on handling the U.S. economy. According to an NBC Wall Street Journal poll, Trump now leads Clinton by just four points, down from 11 in May. Trump is using free trade deals as weapons to attack Clinton. Trump opposes the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal signed earlier this year and the North American Free Trade Agreement with Canada and Mexico signed by Clinton's husband. A vote for Hillary Clinton is a vote for TPP and it's also a vote for NAFTA. He also promised to invest in U.S. infrastructure and bring back manufacturing jobs he says went overseas to countries like China. Clinton criticized Trump's proposals, saying they rehash trickle-down economics, a failed economic policy from the 1980s. It does not help our economy grow. It does not help the vast majority of Americans, but it does really well for people already at the top. Last year, Clinton withdrew her support for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement. It's a vote loser in this election. She's also planning to make her own economic speech in Detroit on Thursday. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.